Hey guys, welcome to this episode of From the Pages of WF Magazine. I am Anthony, this is Collector's Entertainment Network, and today we're looking at the November 1990 issue of WWF Magazine with the Ultimate Warrior on the cover. But before we get into that, guys, I'm going to ask you please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I'd love to have you back. Please comment down below. Let me know your WWF Magazine memories. Please share this video with anyone you think may like it as well, and go ahead and give this video a like. That helps a lot too. While you're at it, go on over to Facebook, check out the Collectors Entertainment Network Facebook page, give that a like. But even more importantly, while you're at Facebook, join the Federation Nation Facebook group. I want to see your collections. You show me your WF magazines, your Coliseum videos, your LJN figures, whatever it is. I want to see your classic vintage WWF stuff in your collection. All right. That's enough of all that. We've got November 1990, The Ultimate Warrior on the cover. Let's get into the pages. All right, guys, here is November 1990 with The Ultimate Warrior on the cover. But as you can see, I also have the original bag it came in that was delivered to my house in. Original label underneath. And here you go, the official World Wrestling Federation merchandise catalog. Fall, winter, 1990. Jackets, t-shirts, posters, hats, games, dolls. That is the plastic bag that it was delivered to my house in. But now let's get into the magazine itself. And here we go, November 1990, Ultimate Warrior on the cover. This is the third November that Ultimate Warrior has been on the cover. He's been on the cover for November 88 with the SummerSlam 88 results when he had won the IC title. He was on the cover in November of 89 after he regained the Intercontinental title at that SummerSlam. And here he is in November of 90 as the World Wrestling Federation champ. So that's three Novembers in a row with the Ultimate Warrior on the cover. But let's get into it. SummerSlam results. Warrior and Hulk reign supreme plus all the other action. Brutus update exclusive photos. Texas Tornado. Can this whirlwind avoid Perfect's revenge? Jake the Snake's greatest challenge, arrogance, and model vision. The big boss man defending his family's honor. Honky and the Hammer. Without the belts, they're really singing the blues. And in this issue, a warrior interview. The Sarge is profiled, and we have a brainstorm. All right, let's get inside. I got this issue on October 9th. 1990 there is your table of contents as well as tca official travel agency of the world's most frequent flyers here is your information center and a coliseum video ad for wwf hottest matches heat up the fall with sizzling wwf action Around the ring, talking about the Macho King, Randy Savage, and on sale at your newsstands, October 11th, Superstars 5. Of course, I have that. Brainstorms by Bobby the Brain Heenan. Editor's note, beginning this issue, manager Bobby the Brain Heenan will pen a monthly article detailing his perceptions of the athletes in the World Wrestling Federation. Oh, maybe body language is gone. Maybe this was, you know, Jesse had left around this time. So it must be that. Fan forum, there is Brother Love. And of course, wrap up your holiday season. Give a gift of WF Magazine 12 issues, $20. Like I've said before, I always got subscriptions. Again, it was either every year for Christmas or or for my birthday, because my birthday is in December as well. So that was part of my Christmas or birthday presents, was always re-upping my WF Magazine subscription. All right, Newsbreakers, update Brutus Beefcake's condition. I guess he was getting, getting himself back together after his accident. Personality profile, Sergeant Slaughter. All right, and of course... You've got your eight CDs or 12 cassettes for one penny from Columbia House. A talk with the Ultimate Warrior. This month's WWF interview. Of 
Chris has got his blue championship belt. Didn't take him long to change the strap for that. And Summer Slam Report. WWF Champion Ultimate Warrior versus Ravishing Rick Rude. That match in a steel cage. You've also got Hulk Hogan versus Earthquake. Looks like the big boss man came in to help out a little bit. And WWF Intercontinental Champion Mr. Perfect versus Texas Tornado. Oh, is that when Kerry Von Erich won the title? I knew he won it. I guess he won it at SummerSlam. I'll have to go back and check that out. Don't quite remember. All right, Hart Foundation versus Demolition for the WWF Tag Team title. And we know the Hart Foundation won the titles with the help of Legion of Doom coming down to ringside. You've also got all the other matches here. It looks like some power and glory. Who's that against the Rockers? You've got, oh, Sapphire with the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. And I think we've got a little bit more of some results. Yeah, there we go. I see Duggan and Nikolai. I see the Macho King and Dusty Rhodes. I see Sergeant Slaughter with Brother Love. Good, good stuff. And here you go. WrestleMania 7, Sunday, March 24th, 1991. Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Of course, we know it wasn't actually held in the Coliseum. They held it in the sports arena. WWF Trivia, Tournament Time, Bad Vibes, by any other name, Going Places, and Odds and Ends. And here is the official fall, winter, 1990-91 WWF Merchandise catalog Let's see what they got in here here is your ultimate warrior page and of course your hulk hogan page here's your kids corner wrestling buddies my son has this ted dibiase now my son is seven he got it from his uncle my wife's brother who had it when he was a kid i think and of course gave it to my son a few years ago and funny thing is I don't remember which kid well we told him it was the million dollar man and one of the kids started calling him the dindon man because they I guess they couldn't say million dollar man so he's the dindon man oh, and your t-shirt page of course you got Hogan Piper Warrior Rockers Jake the Snake Brutus the Barber Beefcake Big Boss Man Dusty Rhodes the Macho King and Demolition and there are all your novelties. You've got cups and tote bags and calendars and jewelry. And, of course, your superstar posters. No 80s and 90s WF fans. Room was complete without a superstar poster. Of course, accessories, your order form, and the new Hulk Hogan jacket. And from Game Mania, you can order all those games. All right, a perfect way to stop a tornado. Heenan's calculating the perfect solution. Perfect versus Kerry Von Eric. More of that. And there you go. New WWF Wrestling Spotlight on sale at your newsstand soon. The Rockers. Battle of the Senses. How will vision and scent negatively affect Jake's career? Is he blinded by the um, perfume yet? I think so. That was before WrestleMania 6. Isn't that when they had their uh, blindfold match or something like that? Platinum and Gold. Rhythm and Blues quest for the tag team title. They never got it, right? No, the hearts. The hearts. The hearts lose it back to demolition. I don't remember. You guys remember who they lose it to? Back to demolition, or the Quebecers, or something. I don't remember. But more about the hearts versus rhythm and blues, and there you go. The WWE Thanksgiving Night Tradition Survivor Series, November twenty second, live on pay per view. You still had teams versus teams back then. I wonder when that would change. I know the next year there would be a 
world title match, right? It would be Hogan versus The Undertaker, but still just team matches. All right, the real truth. Why did Bobby the Brain Heenan provoke the big boss man? I don't know. I have to read the article to find out. But I guess he did. There are some pictures. Him going after the big boss man. That was very smart, Bobby. All right, Hulk Hogan vitamin commercial in this month's Private Eye. More from the commercial. And then, of course, all your order forms to send away for WF Magazine. And, of course, like every month, we've got the World Wrestling Federation Lowdown, Tito Santana, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Superfly Jimmy Snuka is getting mean. Power and glory. The Barbarian. Heenan unveils his plans. And here is a Viewpoint by Dino Bravo, as well as an ad for the Batman Nintendo game. You do have crossword with Shawn Michaels in the middle. And look at this. A membership in the official WWF 1991-92 fan club. Because it's the perfect gift for the holidays. So they've changed it. Instead of the 90-91, it is now the 91-92. But it's still clearly 1990 when this issue came out. Still had a couple months to go. Alright, caught in the act. Rick Rude. And of course, WWF Superstars of Wrestling. Ice cream bars, always, always, always a favorite. You've got a Nintendo game on the back. But here again, guys, the November 1990 issue, Ultimate Warrior on the cover with all your SummerSlam results. All right, guys, that was the November 1990 issue with the Ultimate Warrior on the cover. Guys, again, I'm going to ask you, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please share this video with anyone you think may like it as well. Please comment down below. Let me know your WF Magazine memories. And go ahead and give this video a like because that helps a lot. And I want to see you over in the Federation Nation group showing off your collections. Anything WWF related, I want to see your vintage WWF collections. Okay. November 1990, Ultimate Warrior, that's in the books. Next week, we're going to wrap up 1990 with the December 1990 issue with Kerry Von Erich, the Texas Tornado, on the cover. But until then, guys, have a good one.